Hey, it's time for cooking with the kids. So, which is not very much different than any other type of cooking, right? So, um, we're going to just go through. What do you guys like to eat? Ooh. Let me hear. Let me hear some things. Let's see. If we were, if we were going to cook something today, are you more a sweets person? Are you wanting like a fruit salad? I'm a or are sweet you person. Sweets. I'm a okay. Then you're going to love today. Do you like brownies? Yes. Do you like anything chocolate? Oh, yes. Do you like Rice Krispie treats? Yes. What about, what's the other thing? Muffins. Chocolate chip muffins. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, okay, yeah. so the only thing missing from Pals TV or all these Zoom devices is that we can't smell or taste things through it. We're just going to have to pretend, okay? You know how it is. All right, so the first thing, and this is important right now for everyone to remember, is washing our hands. So everyone needs to go wash their hands first thing. I already washed my hands, but Reagan's going to wash hers. Let's wash her do it. You need to make sure that you get some squirts on the hands there. Rub together really good. And then you're supposed to either sing happy birthday. Oh, yep, sing happy birthday. That's how long you should actually wash your hands. Look, she's getting in between her fingers. Yep. It's all around. Okay, now I want you to rinse and sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to you. Happy you birthday look to like you. a monkey <laughs> and smell like one too. Aww. All right, turn it off. Let's dry here. I'm getting you a new, that's fine. Yep. Dry them real well. Okay, so anytime that we're gonna cook, you wanna make sure that you wash your hands because you, would, you wouldn't want me to have gone to the bathroom, not wash my hands, and then make you a Rice Krispie treat or a brownie. You might not know what's in the brownie. So we wanna make sure that we always wash our hands. That's number one. And then also try to stay back from, you know, your spit as you're talking, getting into your food. So, mm -hmm. or licking fingers. How many of you have ever done that? You're like, I just gotta lick my finger. If you do that, Make sure that you go back and wash your hands before you um, dive back into cooking again. Try not to do that. Try not to do it. Now, we're all about licking the pan when you're done. Mm -hmm. After you've put all that brownie mix into your pan, get the bowl and just lick away. But until then, let's refrain. So the first thing we're going to do today is cook brownies because that's the thing and the oven's going to take longer. So we've just got us a ge generic brownie mix here. We've already preheated the oven, so we'll show you that. You wanna preheat your oven to 350, so we've already preheated, and we are, it said we're ready to go. But we don't have our brownies ready yet, so we're gonna mix for you. Okay, Ray, you wanna do it here? Yep, okay, so first we have to open the bag. Open the bag. Be careful, sister. I feel like I'm gonna cut my finger. So just be very careful, this is good. Okay, now, okay, is it open enough for you to mm -hmm. dump it out? Okay, dump it out for us. I make brownies all the time. Though. Yes. We like brownies, don't we? Yeah. Make sure you get all that out of there. Shake it. It's true. Now, a little tip, something I really like to do is use my box because it has all of my instructions, right, on the back, your directions. So if you can keep your box, put all your trash, into your box and then you're going to be able to keep it and follow along so it was preheat the oven we already did that um now we are pouring in our brownie mix and it says to put eggs next and it says reagan how many eggs two eggs two large eggs so we're going to use our chicken eggs if you remember from our chicken segment mm. two chicken eggs Let's all right so what we're going to do here hold that one you want to do one me do one so you take your egg and you gently crack it on the side of your um countertop Open it, be very careful as you put it in. And then I also put my eggs down inside of my brownie box to keep that trash in there. We now, have different techniques. Yes, but eggs are kind of yucky, so we're going to wash our hands real quick again. A lot of hand washing going on, which is all right. So now we have two eggs in there, right, Ray? Yeah. Two large eggs. Next thing is we want to get vegetable oil. Do you see Ooh. your vegetable oil? Get that yeah. out. And go ahead and get a, show it to everyone, and get a measuring cup. Vegetable oil, it calls for half a cup. So let's bring over this, pour it into this it's one here. Open. 
Can't open it here. You hold that then. I just washed my hands. Oh, yeah, that's right. That was a little bit tough. All right, so you hold it. We're going to fill it to the half cup line. See there? All right, now pour it's it in. Bunch of it. it is. Pour that in. Okay. It tastes good at the end. It does. Okay. The other thing it asks for is three tablespoons of water. So we have our handy dandy tablespoon. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and do that. So go ahead, Ray, and start mixing. There's one I'm adding in. Two. Oh, you could have hold my finger. <laughs> Three. Now, Reagan, if you could pick, would you rather have brownies for your birthday or a cookie cake? What would you prefer for your birthday? I would prefer a cookie cake, probably. Cookie cake? Or a brownie cake. Ooh, you know, I have some brownie cake. One of those. The cookie cake's so good because it's a cookie and it's a cake. And it has icing on top. Mm -hmm. mm, yes. Who likes icing? Give a thumbs up or raise your hand. Because I want to yes. make it so bad. Okay, so do you like, raise your hand if you are more of an ice, like if there's a piece of cake, you want like the rose on top, like you want the extra icing. Or are you just like a medium icing person? Yes, definitely all the icing. Now, one of the tips that um, I've learned over the years is Reagan has done a really good job of, here, let me show them, of blending it together to where you see that, but it has a lot of chunks yes. of the batter in it. So now what I like to do is take a fork because it can get really down in there and get it really mixed up well. So why don't you take that, that now and really, um, you want to crunch out all of those chunks, chunks of the batter. Like pancakes, but you don't take those. Right, like pancakes. pancakes. It's a similar. You guys ever make pancakes? There's all those little like chunks of the batter that you don't want that in your pancake. You want it to be all smooth and mixed together. So while this takes some time, you definitely don't want to miss out on making sure you get it really nice and smooth and very blended. That's what we talk about is blending. And don't throw it out of the ball. Right, don't throw it out of the ball. The other thing we need to do is find a pan, right? Now, brownies, I like to make them a little more thick, right? You too. Yeah. So um, we're using a smaller pan. This is probably, I'll show you guys. This is more of an eight by eight pan. So it's a clear glass Look, pan. Look, you see my face. Oh yeah, face. Um, and then we're gonna use Pam spray. You guys have to do something on here to make sure that your brownies don't stick. So a coating Ooh, of burn. either or burn. A coating of non-stick cooking spray, or you could even, if you have flour, you could put flour in it. Can you scoot over so much time to spray this? Okay. One of the best things is to spray around the edges of the pan too, because you don't want to stick anywhere. So I'm just going to hold it back here and spray. Our brownies are done, I think. And we've coated our pan. Let's check on these brownies and see how they, they look. They look really good. Okay. Oh, they do. Reagan did a really good job. Very smooth. I have learned over nine you years. You have learned. She learned over her nine years. Come on over. <laughs> Will you tough. hold the pan for me in front of everyone so we can show them? We'll put it, pour it in. So we're going to scrape all the edges. So you know, Reagan wants me to leave more in <laughs> the bowl because she wants to lick she it. Does. But I don't because <laughs> she doesn't need all that, do you? You need us to scrape the sides. But still, I get that on it. So if you guys have a spatula, this is where it's a good time to bring in your spatula so that you can get all of um, the edges of your brownie mix off. Will you just wait a second? I'll get the spatula again. Okay. Oh, man, that looks good. Yeah, Can we eat really it yet? Good. Not yet. Okay. So now where this is a flatter spatula, we can actually dig around the edges. Look at this. Did you put it in the sink? And you can actually get all of, yeah, Reagan's really not gonna like me today because I can get all of it down in there. She never does. Like so this. when you can use um, a spatula, wait till you see how clean I got this bowl. I mean, we got it scraped all the sides. So there's not much licking to do here. Okay. So I was gonna lick my fingers, but I decided not to for you guys. <laughs> One thing I like to do is, um, if you ever seen someone when they're cooking or getting ready to put something in the oven, sometimes they'll take it and they'll go, they bang on the counter. 
And that's to get all of the air bubbles out so that there's not gonna be a pocket of air in here that doesn't get well done. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven. And it tells us to, for this size pan, about 25 minutes, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get that started. I always set a timer. We need to I just think, on. ooh, that is neat. It actually shows you a variety of ways you can dress it up. You can put pretzels on top. We have pretzels, you wanna do it? Yeah. All right, get the pretzels icing. out. The pretzels out. Hey, this is all about cooking with kids and being creative. And Romy, Romy wants to do pretzels. Do so let's do pretzels. Yay! Tell them how you like pretzels. Here, this I is love, Romy. I love pretzels and I do wanna can I put taste? pretzels on top of the brownie? No, we just talked to everyone about safety. And you oh, can't yeah. lick this from the bowl because you don't want other people to have your germs, yeah. right? Wow. Yeah. All right, so let me get the pretzels down for everybody. Greg and talk to them for a minute. Mm -hmm. I'll get them. I'll get them. Okay, so we have our pretzels. And basically, we're just going to top it. Yes, I'll let you guys do some. Here. So everybody can see you do it. Here. Just put them on top. Place them on top. Why don't you do it, and I'll take your picture doing it. There we go. Look at that. Good job. So we're decorating our brownies with a little... And you know me, I love sweet and salty, and that's what this is. All right, give Remington a turn. Good job, guys. This is fun. There's no rules in cooking, right? There is some rules about measuring. There's a few rules, but really it's freedom. Ah. If you lick your finger, you got to go. Ah. Okay, you can lick it, but you're done. Okay. Oh, it tastes good. Does it? All right, we're going to have to put it in the oven next. Does this look good? Um, yeah. You guys want some pretzels? You can take some. All right. All right. Thank you, guys. Absolutely. Now we're going to pop it in the oven. Okay. I like yeah, I'm not putting Doritos on the brownies. You guys think Doritos on top of brownies would be good? It tastes yeah. bad. <laughs> yeah, All right, so let's pop, pop it in the oven. oven. It's a little bit hot, isn't it? Open it up. All right, so we put those in there, and we're going to let them bake um, for about 20 minutes or so, and okay. then we'll check on them. So let's set our timer. You guys set a timer before. Oh, no. So we're going to set a timer for about... 20 minutes. I can got our fire alarm down. That happens every time we cook or open the oven. Okay, so there's our brownies. So we're gonna, we've got that started. We're ready to move on to our next thing. All right, you guys want to take these? Okay, go on. Thank you for your help. Good job. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is actually, um, we're gonna do muffins, right? Muffins? Because yeah, we need to cook those too. So this is our chocolate chip muffin mix. Very simple. Uh, Reagan's going to bring over another. Can we use icing on them? I don't know. We don't, don't, don't need ice. They're yeah, not really. Well. All right. So we have these really cute cupcake liners. Aren't they birthday. cute? What color do you guys want to use? Let's blue. use purple. Hmm. Ah, blue. Blue, purple, red. The red's on top. Let's do red. It's 4th of July. So yeah. Well, the, the purple. So we're going to take them, you separate them apart. If you guys ever tried this, sometimes you get two stuck together. Reagan, can you start putting them in our holes here? Mm -hmm. Let's do burnt. I got all okay, these so, baking material for my thank birthday. You. I love blue fruit too. You want a blue one? Let's do if a blue one. If you didn't know, I them. love baking too. Reagan does like baking. Her dad is actually more of the cook in our house. Can um, I help him? Yes. So we, here, Romy wants to put these in. We want the blue stack. There's no rules, right? Once again, we can have fun with this. And let's do a whole row of blue, I think. Okay, so we've got those filled up. Let's do another row of um, yellow. Or blue. Later. No, it's okay. No, yellow. I want yellow, too. All right, well, you guys go do that then while I mix up. Bro, All right, you guys don't surprise me. Don't yell at him. Surprise me. All right, so this calls for... Um, heating our oven, of course. No, yellow! And then stirring this together. All it takes What's is actually water or milk. You guys want to use water or milk? No, okay. Milk, milk. Milk? Milk. All right. Anyone lactose intolerant here? No? All right. So we'll use milk. We need half a cup of milk. So we're pouring this in. Ready to go. 
how many does this make? Not very many. So let me do both packs. So we need half a cup of milk. Mom, look, we did purple. Milk. We did purple. So we're doing two packs today. We did purple, red, and blue. See those? They did blue liner, purple liners. Very light purple. And a red liner. It's kind of polka dots. Right? They're cute. I got them for my birthday. So now we're going to use another one of these. We're going to do half a cup of water or milk. So there's half a cup. And because we did yes, two packages, because we did two packages, we need to do double the recipe. Hey, mommy, so we're going to do another. She, you, she's letting you? Yeah, I'm right here. Oh, Mom, are we using this or the bit? I say we use another um, utensil. Get another um, fork. Mommy, she, she said run it out. There's really not much else to do right now, Ro. Yeah. But thank you. Thank you for helping okay, us. Okay, so now Regan's stirring again. Ooh, it smells like brownies again. It smells like brownies? Yeah. Mom. Let me see. Well, it's the chocolate. Oh, oh, guys, take a big deep breath in and just pretend you're smelling chocolate. Ready? Oh, chocolate is like <gasps> the mini ones. Look, yeah, the mini, the mini ones. chocolate chips are in there. Yeah. Can I see? Mm. I'm seeing the mini. Okay. Can I smell too? Can you smell like Ooh. Why well, she's gonna make pencils? We're gonna stir that. Still stirring? Yep. And a tip of cooking because we want to get all the powder. Yep, it's fine. I did. I put all the powder. Now, another thing I, are you a messy cook or, you know, so I don't like it to be a mess. So I have a hard time with it. But from what I hear, people who are messy cooks make the best cooks. So maybe the messier you are, the better your cooking is. Kids are messy. Just is. The house is clean. It's messy. Me. Does I... this feel so? You sometimes have to just feel the consistency. Like, is this about ready? I think it is. Kind of smells like cookie dough. Who likes cookie dough? Like ice cream or cookie dough? Um, oh, me too. It's one of my favorites. We have a local um, restaurant here that makes every type of like ice cream into also. Um, shakes milkshakes so recently what did you guys have i got cookie dough and cookie dough sugar. you've had creamsicle creamsicle um, is not that good rylan oh, had oreo and, and they love mint chocolate chip i, I don't really Reese's. like mint but hey, Mommy, Reese's. Have Reese's. Have it's okay. it's okay we have 14 minutes to go yeah all right so i think this is stirred pretty well so the trick is getting um, from the bowl into okay. the muffin uh, cup. And if you see here, this bowl actually has like a spout on it. So that's a lot easier to control as you're pouring it out. So um, you have to bear with me here. You're gonna fill your muffin cups up um, really just about halfway. So you don't want it to go way over top as it bakes. It's gonna rise some. So you don't want it to go too high. So I'm gonna fill them up about halfway. So wait, 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 wait. You want a muffin, don't you? Mommy, I'm going to wait on you. Hold on. Look, even Sissy isn't doing this one, so it's not like you're missing out. Oh, I'm going to make sure to do the blue ones because I don't know if we have enough batter for every. Stop. Can I do my show? No, you can't. Okay. Sometimes you just need help. You need helpers. And that's okay too. If you guys are in a situation where you're cooking and you need some assistance, I mean, it's, there's nothing wrong with asking for a little help, either from someone that's at the house, a parent, a guardian, or um, there's good old Google, right? You could Google your question. How do I, how much water do I put in this? How many eggs did this take? How long should this cook? Those sort of things. Um, are all questions that can be answered by really Google. by Google or Siri. Siri, yeah, Reagan's really into asking Siri or Alexa things. <laughs> Alexa, how long do we cook our chocolate chip brownies? Okay, so we filled up all of those. Now, I'm gonna give you a tip. Look at this mess I made on top. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't want that in the oven. So you need to go through with a wet paper towel and wipe all those up or it will burn on that area. 
so I'm gonna get me a wet paper towel. I didn't wet the whole thing, as you see, just part of it's wet. And then we're going to go on here. Basically clean up our little bit of a mess that we made. Right, Ro? Made a little bit of a mess. Can I taste it? Yeah, I taste it. What do you think? Can I have this? Yeah. Is it going to be good? What do you think, Ro? Is it going to taste good when we get done? It tastes good in beer. All right, so I have cleaned up my mess now that was on the pan. And now I'm going to taste bad. put these in the oven. It tastes bad? You better be joking me. No, wait, if it cooks, it tastes good. It'll taste good once it cooks. You're right. All right, so now we're going to put this in the oven. These go in for, this is why I don't like to throw away my trash. I think it said 15 minutes. So we're going to do that. I know a little bit. And here's the thing. Now, you, you'll notice I have like a method to my madness. We, we did um, the two, the brownies and the chocolate chip muffins go into the <laughs> oven and they're going to take the longest to uh, cook. And then now we're going to do a stove top um, treat, which is Rice Krispie treats. And we can do those while everything's baking in the oven. Okay, so let's go ahead. Can and I put this out? Well, let me take down, Ryan, can you crawl up there and take down the fire alarm thing? Because it's going to do it again. So we're going to go back over here to our oven. And Reagan's going to take down here. She'll take those down. Look how hot. Just get it down. Okay, great. Now we're going to go ahead and open this up and put it in here. Oops. It's going to join our brown in the hot oven. Okay, there we go. Now the next thing we're going to cook are Rice Krispie treats. And the thing I get is a big pan like this out. Okay, so we're going to get a big stovetop pan. And one tip I've learned over the years is use your spray pan again and actually spray this pan because you're going to get really stuck with all of this um, marshmallow gooey stuff on the side. So you can go ahead and spray your pan. That's going to help you some. So I'm spraying around the edges. Got that good. And while I've got my pan out, let's go ahead and spray where we're going to put our Rice Krispies when they're cooked, which is this pan. So I'm going to get all around the edges, the bottom side. We're good. Now, we are going to start on the actual cooking of the Rice Krispie treats. All right, put that away. Reagan's licking the bowl here. <laughs> put it in the sink, sis. Now, we are going to do Rice Krispie treats. Can I do them since I know how to really make them? Sure. So we need um, a whole bag of marshmallows. We actually use mini marshmallows this time. Um, mini marshmallows. They actually do melt a little bit easier, so that's nice. Um, the butter and margarine that you can use. And we need half a cup of that. So, or a fourth, I'm sorry. Let me see what that is. From here. Fourth? Put it in here. <laughs> We need a fourth of that. Sorry. Really? Here's our um, bowl that we're going to put this in the microwave to soften our butter. Let me see this, please. Yes. Yeah. So on the side of your butter, it's going to say how much. So four tablespoons is fourth a cup, which is what we need. So we need actually half of this, Ray. Oh, okay. got to pay attention. Well, you said to get out full stick, so. Can I do it? Always check your directions. Okay, can I do it? How long should I put it in my This goes back in. So what I tried to do is about 20 seconds just to get it melty. I to do it. We don't need this part. We need this to go back in. So um, she's just going to get that a little softened. You want your butter softened. You don't want it melted, but softened. Okay. Then you're going to use your whole bag of marshmallows. Yeah, cut the top. Oh, you want to cut one up? Okay. We need, hey, we need them, babe. And the other thing you need are Rice Krispie treats or, or Rice Krispie cereal, and you need six cups of that. All we had were Rice Krispie squares, Which but this really works good. perfectly. You can crunch up um, your Rice Krispies, like the squares, or you can just 
use them like the way they are. No, that's fine. So we've got it kind of melty, kind of softened, or better. And now we're going to put that in the pan on the stovetop, and we're going to turn the stovetop on to about medium. So you want to bring it over, Ray? Shimmer. I think shimmer sure work. You can turn it around. Can you turn? Okay, how do I turn it? Okay, so we just put the butter, butter in here, and we're going to come up here and just show them. We're going to turn it on between medium and high, our burner on. Okay, leave it straight up and down. Okay, and here's what it looks like in here. Now I want you to add the whole bag of marshmallows. And don't let your brothers eat them. Yeah. I need to open it. Make a mess. Yeah, you'll make a mess. Okay, how do I do this? And you, you're These aren't the best. Well, let them out. Marshmallow. Figure it out. You're an overcomer. Come on, you can do it. So will be overcomer. I'm an overcomer. Stay in the fight till the final round. I'm not going under. Yes, scissors. You know what? We actually, we should have had like music playing when we... Don't you think that would have been the best thing? Uh, 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 don't cut the icing. Look, this is what we deal with, cooking with kids. Icing bag. I leave it right here for one minute. Put it up. All right, and let's go ahead and clean up our trash. That's another thing. As you do it, if you can clean up, it really helps with the process. We'll just make a pile of it. So right now, we are still waiting on this to kind of melt. I mean, it's just the process. Go ahead and melt down. But in the meantime, get out another large one of these mm -hmm. and start putting in the rice squares. We need six cups. You can't do it all at once. This only holds four cups. But go ahead and put that in here, Ray. No, just do this one and then fill it back up. What, honey? I can't see it. Can't see what? In here? You want to check on them? Wow. There's our brownies. And there is our muffins. What do you think? Oh my gosh. Does it look good? Yeah. Okay. Still They're not done yet. So three cups and then another three cups. Right. And if you want, do you want to kind of crush them so that they're more Rice crispy material? That's fine too. That's a rice square cereal, but either way it'll work. So we're just trying to get this. Okay, so she's kind of crushing this. Another way you could do it is just squeeze it. Yeah, you're getting all your hands cut off. Yeah, but I've washed my hands. No. Good for you. So this is going to take a little bit of time, huh? I need to Okay. Uh, and look, it already went down a bunch. So why don't you get out the other um, measuring, yeah, measuring cup, and we can put more in it. Don't touch it. All right, so let's check back in over here. It is starting to melt a little bit more. That's good. Yep, you guys keep crushing. Dreaming too. That's the problem with having kids now. Are you not a kid? I'm not a kid. I'm a child. <laughs> You like to help when you were little, too, so we've got to let him help, too. He has to learn. This is how you learn, and that's the thing. You only, you know, you're only going to get better at cooking by doing it. You're only going to get better at something by practicing. Um, you know, when we talk about dishes, like for your dinners and things, um, adding spices and stuff, like while you're not really comfortable with that at the beginning, you might want to, you know, just toy around with it and say, hmm, this might be fun to add a little, you know, Italian seasoning, or maybe it will be great to add in a little garlic or onion. So it's okay to experiment and try things out. You're only going to, yep, you're only going to get better by trying and by doing it. So, all right, so you can see it's really starting to work now. We're getting more of a texture of a, um, yeah, the marshmallow melted texture here. So we're getting there. We're getting there. That's right. You can't let it go too long because then you also run into where it gets really um, stuck onto your pan, and you don't want that. These look like rice krispies. Yeah, they do look like little rice krispies. Let's check. Let's check them out here. I'm going to turn this down. So what I like to do is once I get this mixture 
to where I know the consistency is right, which is about now. You can't see, there's only a few bumps of marshmallow left. I'm gonna move it off of that burner that's hot to uh, a side. And then I'm gonna have Reagan just pour. So what I do is only pour one thing in first because you don't wanna overwhelm this. So go ahead and get it mixed in. And then as you see the consistency, then you can decide to pour in the next few cups. Ready? Can you go deal with them, please? Yeah. And then I'll pour this in. Okay. So here we go. There's our other three cups. And now we're going to continue mixing it together. Here we go. I don't know. People are screaming. Who knows what's going on? My kids get a little crazy on me. All right, I'm going to turn this around so you guys can see while I'm doing it. So here we are just really stirring, 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 getting that consistency to thicken up a little bit so that we can have that rice crispy texture. I guess where I found Romy, playing with scissors. Uh-oh, that's why we always need to put up our tools. Did you I, go put up the tools? I was Romy, do you, need, do you need a timeout? I was coming to the Okay. Go. So, do you think it needs a little bit more? I don't know. What do you think? The consistency? Reagan's more of an eater while you cook type person. Are any of you like that? Because sometimes people don't eat at all while they cook. And then sometimes people tend to eat the whole time they cook. The whole time. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. It's good. And you're like, taste test the look. Right, but then you're like near your mouth and you're getting germs everywhere. That's the only thing I'm talking about. Give me the scissors, I'm cutting the tag. Can you help me cut the tag off? Yeah, you guys like to eat as you go. Yeah, I can see that. What is like, does anyone have a, um, like a staple meal that like everyone knows, like Nick makes such and such? And it's like, that's yours, you know. At every holiday, so and so brings this, or do you have like a favorite recipe that you do? If you do, raise your hand and we can let you give us your answer. I just make a push this. So you have like a specialty. Like, do you have a specialty you like to cook? Okay, Reagan, what's yours? Ham and cheese sliders. Ham and cheese sliders. We might have to do that one day. Uh oh, let's check our timer. Okay. Guys, they're done. And that was for our, um, we're going to do a few more minutes. Okay. Anyone else have a, something you like to really do? That you love to do? Stop digging in the back. It's noisy and you don't need to be in there. Okay. Do you have like a certain meal or a dessert that you always make or even like a drink that's like, Ooh, That's what you forts. always What is root it? Beer, root beer floats. Root beer floats. Yes. Kind of floats? That sounds good, huh? Kind of so it's got root beer and kind of ice cream kind of and maybe even whipped cream on it. Kind of mm, yes. kind of a float is like ice cream with a pop on top of it and then maybe even like a whipped cream. You love that. Okay, so I was going to tell you guys earlier, you know the Pam spray that we used and we sprayed it on our pan and we sprayed it on this dish. So what I like to do is because this is not all spread out, right? And it needs flattened down. So something I do is actually spray my hands with Pam. So I'm going to spray them. Cool hands, Pam. <laughs> and then I'll use those like because that butter texture to flatten everything out. These are good on that. I might get at it. Thanks. 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 Everything you learned from me. I'm cooking it. I'm cooking. You did teach me how to cook. I'm cooking it. Okay, so there, that's going to set up. I mean, it's pretty much ready, but you would want to wait a little bit before you before cut it hold. just to kind of harden up. Yeah, so you have like it to hold. You don't want to fly out of there. Now we got a big mess on our hands, don't we? You're going to do it now? Yep. So she's flattening it down now. You can see from the side here. Because you have to flatten it so the lid works first. You talk for a minute. Yeah. 
you just flat it. And then you have to punch up the other ones that don't. What would be your meal that you make? Well, what? For dinner? Tell them about the ham and cheese sliders. Okay, ham and cheese sliders are made with provolone, Hawaiian bread, and um, ham and cheese. Right. Yeah. And ham. And they put it in the air fryer or the oven or microwave and cook it for about 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then the cheese will start to melt and the ham will like melt too a little bit. And the bread will crisp and it tastes really good. Maybe awesome. we'll do it for lunch. Yeah, we're going to do some more. Mom, that's my cooking. Back. Okay, wait just a minute. We're this gonna... is more of a dessert. Uh, yeah, coming up, we're going to do some meal planning, and we're going to do breakfast, lunch, and dinner, just like different meal planning ideas and how to kind of like you ever make something at night and then able to make it into something the next day and have leftovers, but a little bit different of a leftover. Look, she's tempted to eat it. I know she is. Aren't you? I just go then out so I can make it. Okay. So let's put our lid on and like let it set for a little bit before we get can go we wash your hands. Yeah, we're gonna make lunches someday. Okay, now Romy is wanting to check him out here. He's trying to cook something. I wanna yeah. cook. You wanna cook? He what? Looks, he put his in a pan. Yeah, he's trying. He's trying. So it's always fun to just experiment and learn. We're gonna check on our stuff in here again. All right, so our <gasps> Oh, okay. All right. So there's our brownies back here in the back, and then here are our muffins. They're almost ready. So do you guys know some of the ways that you can check if things are done? Do you know this? I know. Right. I know. Your How? brownies are done. So a toothpick, and if you stick it in there and it comes out with brownie on it, mm -hmm. it's not ready. Not ready. <laughs> right. A toothpick, or you can even use like a knife. Mm -hmm. um, I've used like a butter knife before if I didn't have a toothpick. Um, I've also used, um, you know, a fork could work too. It's basically just seeing, okay, it's basically just sticking something in there and seeing if um, down in the middle got done. We can usually see that the edges got done, but actually finding out if the middle's done is a different story. Why don't you get out a butter knife, Ray? I'm going to get the stuff out of the oven and we can check it. you videotape for me while I get it out. Wait. All right, so we'll use I'm going to get out the uh, boys back. I can already tell that I don't think that this is done in the middle. See how it's shaking? Ooh, it needs to be the top. I definitely need longer. It's definitely our two J. Oh, it means it hates blueberries. But it's pretty ooh. done. Ooh. 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 And if you put them in there, so chocolate. if you um want to cover up the holes, you use icing. They no, you just want to use icing. I want to use icing so bad. One of the things about this is, you know, when you bake cookies or even something like this, if you leave them in the pan, they continue cooking even after you get them out of the oven. So you have to be careful about leaving stuff on a pan. Um, so let's get them out. Well, no, I think it needs a little bit more. So I think this is good to leave it in here for just a little bit longer. Um, and then they'll be ready and fresh and warm. No, they do not need, they don't need icing on them. But it's red. Have you ever heard of icing on top of a chocolate chip muffin? Anybody ever heard of icing on top of a chocolate chip muffin? I have not. I have. Mm -mm. Totally have. I just made it up. <laughs> this is about creating. So I guess that's okay. Yay. I'm really, so how many people are surprised that we actually did not get our brownies done? I might turn this up a little bit. I can't believe we didn't get enough. Because we put them in first. So you would think they were, you know, but maybe it's also where we put it in a smaller pan so it's thicker. So it's deeper, which means it's going to take longer to actually get. it starts cooking from the bottom. Right. So it's going to need a little more. And, you know, in the middle wasn't done yet. All right, I have a really important question for everyone. It's a brownie question. Should we eat them? No. Are you are you a corner, like an edge brownie person, or you want the center? I want the edge. Because it's crispy. It's the center. You're the center person? You don't like the uh -huh. edge. You don't need the, like, kind of harder around the edge. You like the center. It's volcano. Okay, Reagan, right, what are you? I'm more of an edge and center. You like the edge? Like, I like a long strip. Like, oh, you just want, like, half of it. <laughs> I, I, I like, I like, I 
like this. Anyone else? Tell me, are you an edge or a center person? <laughs> Anyone else want to tell me if you're an edge or center? Well, these are very fluffy. Mm. Mm. Okay. Fluffy. All right. So other than us waiting now for our brownies to finish, you know what we should do is maybe move them to the middle. Middle. Yeah. middle, middle, middle. Or we could do a dance party while we work. Okay, do a dance party. I can't dance, but we'll to what? I do a dance know. party. All right, put your hands up, playing my song. Yeah, I have magic tricks. Butterflies but fly magic away. Magic. A magic trick. Channel in the fridge. Can you see it? They need to see it. Channel in the fridge. Okay. Take off your hand and rub your elbow. No, that elbow. With what hand? Okay. Put your hand on the fridge. Hand on the fridge. Take it off. Rub your elbow. Put your hand on the fridge. You move. Let me show you. Okay. This is how it's supposed to work. Okay. Put your hand on the cabinet. Okay. Rub your elbow. I have to lean forward to reach it. <gasps> it changed. All right, let's try it again. I want to see you not move. Okay. Do your elbow. And you're not there. So your body moves back. But I didn't move my feet. Wow. Okay, try it again. We, we want to see. Okay, on there. Rub your elbow. Take it off. Rub your elbow. Wow. Okay, you guys can try that at home. Okay. You're naked. You can't be on here. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Wow, that's cooking with the kids. Cooking with the kids. Let's keep it G-rated. All right. Um, anyone else have any questions or want to tell me your favorite meals to make or desserts to make since that's what we did today? I think no? this was on Brooke. Thank Not you. <laughs> so, last couple nights at dinner, we've been playing. Uh -huh. And it's actually perfect for this next this segment you just did. Because it's awesome. perfect. Over, would you rather? Chocolate chip cookies or brownies? So, Ooh. Chocolate chip cookies or brownies? Which one was it? Well, everyone was different. For my family, um, my mom made incredible chocolate chip cookies, so that was always my go-to. Vita was brownies. Natalie was cookies. And Gianni was cookies. Mm -hmm. um, but is it the same if your mom doesn't make them? Well, you yeah, them and then it got into a much deeper conversation. Mm -hmm. Like it at certain times of the year. So Vito wanted his brownies, you know, in the, the winter and summer or just random times. So Yeah. And brownies are really good with ice cream, like it's, which is right now would be a good time. So, yeah. Kind of depends. But uh, I think we yeah. can all agree a sweet is a sweet. <laughs> what about Reagan? Reagan, cookie or brownie? Reagan, are you cookie or brownie? Uh, I'm brownie. No, I'm cookie cake. Okay, look. Mommy, what You're cookie. Cookie. Ball? She's cookie. Way to throw that curveball. Cookie cake. I like that. <laughs> How about you? Cookie or brownie? I like both. <laughs> oh, both. Here's what you need is like a cookie cake on the bottom and then with brownie on top. Mm. Oh, yeah, right. Best of both yep. worlds. Yep. How about you, Sally? Cookie or brownie? Okay. Let's go. Go. All right. Last one. I'm going to take daddy's cupcake. We have two more. Hold on. Gila. Gila. Cookie or brownie? What? You, would you rather have cookies or brownie? Cookies? Mmm. Cookies, I think. <laughs> Let's see the last vote. Michael, cookie or brownie? Me? Yeah. You. Listen, Aaron's mother made the best chocolate chip cookies of all time. That's he what would I'm call hearing. and say, my mom's making chocolate chip cookies. The entire neighborhood would run to his house. That is a fact. So chocolate chip cookies all day. Yeah, we're a little bit biased to chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> 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 All 
That was good hey, stuff. Lee. Great job, Brooke. Thank you. Thank you, Reagan. Mm -hmm. Up your segments. Um, All right. We will see you soon. Enjoy your weekend. Thanks. Great rest see you of your later. Day. Bye. All right. Bye. Okay, everyone, taking a short break, and then uh, we'll come back for our 12 o'clock segment. Um, probably we'll be doing some socialization and other things for our 12 o'clock. So um, come back and join us here in about 15 minutes. All right, see you soon. Hi. Hi. I made this. That's so cool. I love that. And I finished this. That's Duke. Yeah. I said Pouse Heath, Theo. What? Pouse Heath. Who? Pouse Heath. Okay. Nick says hi. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I know.